Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at the NL NVL function in Oracle SQL. This is the fifth function that we are working with in our series of working with nulls. First we have seen NVL, then NVL2, then nullif, then coalesce and now NL NVL. Now before understanding this for, uh, function, let us know where we can use it or why it was needed. So as we know when we write a select statement with a WHERE clause, the rows that will be retrieved from the table or set of tables will be those rows that satisfy the WHERE clause or, or we can term it as like for those rows where the WHERE clause has returned TRUE, okay. And now comes uh, the part, the tricky part where we compare some column or some value with NULL. As we know any comparison with NULL will return NULL itself or when, when there is a case like we are comparing the value of null with a column then the result set that will be thrown will be unknown. But the select statement will return only those rows for which the where condition has been set to true other all will be ignored. So any comparison with null will return unknown and hence would not be retrieved from the uh, select statement. So as seen if we want to know all the employees that on some commission PCT less than 20% in our employees table of HR schema we, we, if we write a query like select star from employees where commission PCT is less than 0 0.2 it seems right right but the problem with this query is it doesn't handle any case where commission PCT is null so as you can understand whenever the columns data will be null the condition will be like select star from employees where null is less than 0 0.2 which is unknown the result of that uh, uh, query uh, that rows will result to unknown and hence will not be retrieved with this select statement. So in working with such cases where you are comparing with null or you are working with a set of uh, expressions in your where clause or set of conditions in your where clause that will return uh, an unknown or uh, null kind of a thing at that place is NL NVL will be used. So it helps in writing SQL queries okay where one or more filter condition may may contain some null data it is always used in the where clause of the select statement okay so we we will pass the parameter of the function as a condition like in our case over here commission pct less than 0 0.2 this will be passed to the nvl function and now what nvl function does it it will return true only if the result of the condition is false or unknown that means it will give a vice versa output if the condition is returning true the NL NVL function will make it false if the condition returns unknown the NL NVL function returns true if the condition returns false the NL NVL function returns true it just does a vice versa I'll, I'll just explain this with a set of table also but before that we cannot use this NN NVL function with any of the uh, combination of you know scalar operations with AND OR or between kind of a, uh, compound operations. So what NN NVL function works it like if you say variable 1 is 1 and variable 2 is null. So if you pass variable 1 as 1 okay this condition is true right. I have set variable 1 to 1 so if I say or if I pass variable 1 is equal to 1 in NN NVL function the condition is true but what NN NVL function returns is false okay so whatever is the condition it will just give an opposite output so in second case say suppose when variable 2 is equal to 100 if I pass to an NN NVL function I have set variable 2 as null so now null doesn't comprise to anything you know so the condition returns to unknown like we don't know any comparison with null will throw unknown. So NNN will function will turn it to true. Okay so whenever you get a false okay you will it will do a boolean of it or you can say it will turn it to true whenever you get true it turns it to false whenever it get unknown it turns it to true. Okay so this is the work of an NNLVN function. So now how can we use it in our query? say suppose our query uh, we are using this employees table and as you can see there are many columns with commission PCT as null okay if we want to say that where give me the columns where uh, 
commission PCT is not null, we can simply like select star from employees that commission PCT is not null and it will return us the output. Say here we have 35 rows. Now if we want to want to find all the employees where commission PCT is null, we can just simply write it commission PCT is null and we'll get this output of 72 rows. But when we are working with a condition, say suppose select star from employees where commission PCT is less than 20% or less than 0 0.2 when you write like this see the number of rows returned is just 11 but as you remember there are a lot of employees for which commission PCT is null means they are not earning any commission PCT means they are less than 0 0.2 so all these 72 re records are being ignored by this select statement why because where null less than 0 0.2 will return unknown and hence this where condition will not set to true and hence the select statement will not return the result. So in working with such conditions what we will do is here why we didn't get re uh, return because our where condition resulted to unknown. So now if we want our where condition to result to true what can we do? You know we can use this nnnvl function. So if an unknown will be returned to this function it will turn it to true right it does a vice versa if the condition is true it gives false if the condition is false it gives true if the condition is unknown it gives true this is what it does so what we can do here is we can if we are able to make this condition as true okay then we will get the result so how we can write it we can write the same where clause in a n n nvl function such that the output that we give after the n n nvl function is true. So if I write commission PCT greater than 0 0.2 that is more than 20 percent so other than all these employees will get a true output. So I am just bifurcating by putting a reverse uh, kind of a condition. If I want less than 0 0.2 I am just putting greater than or equal to 0 0.2 so that all the employees with greater than 0 0.2 will get the flag as false. right? So all remaining will be true. So over here remaining are the ones which include null and ones which are uh, less than 0 0.2 so we get both so we are writing a reverse kind of a condition and as you can see we get 83 output now this 83 is the combination with null this is a 72 record plus there are 11 records as we see here there are 11 records which have commission PCT less than 2 so we get output of both of this statement by writing a statement in NNNVL but make sure that you write an opposite statement if you want is equal to 0 0.2 mention not equal to 0 0.2 so that NNNVL function will do the opposite of it and return all the records that are you know kind of having the condition of null and having the condition other than this so this is uh, how NLNVL function is. It is not much widely used by everyone because of this confusing syntax of it. But it is very helpful because see in such cases you would have returned a wrong result or you would have then done a union of this with a query where commission PCT is null and then taken both of them the performance would not be good. But if you use an NLNVL function you will write a simple uh, select statement and get your output. You will even notice sometime in an NVL function in our explain plans also because Oracle does use them to uh, do the filtering and all. So all you need to remember with NL NVL function is that if your condition set inside the NN NVL function returns true, the output of NN NVL function will be false. If the output of uh, if the input of NN NVL function is unknown or false, it will return true. So this helps us in working with null because null will return unknown. So I guess this video was informative to you guys and you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is Kishan signing off. Thank you.